Welcome to the Cruise Diary from the heart of London, Trafalgar Square. We're going to go to the National Portrait Gallery to see a very special picture being unveiled. It was a very special privilege to be asked by Kuna to paint a portrait of the Majesty's Queen for their newest liner. And I'd like to wish Kuna and the cruise liner, Queen Elizabeth, the very best. Well, first of all, congratulations. Thank the picture is lovely. What was it like painting the Queen? It was very nerve wracking. It's my biggest commission today, and that's you know that can be said without a doubt. Um, but uh, it's the kind of commission that um, I never had the opportunity to, to do before, and probably will never again. So I, there was a lot of preparation involved, and um, three visits to Buckingham Palace for three sittings, and uh, and meeting the Queen. And what was she like? Did she put you at ease? Oh yes, she, she did. She, she did. She was very lax and friendly and gracious and um, obviously she sat for many paintings before and um, so she, she knows she knows um, she knows the process and um, and we spoke about about the, this commission and how and how I would plan the painting and how the painting would take place but what was it like I can just imagine picking the brush up for the first time to make the first stroke and you'd be all <laughs> over the place when you the beginning is the best bit. The beginning is where you can actually be free, you can um, move the paint around the canvas and, and just get a sense of the pose. It's the bit after that where you're thinking about the colour and you're thinking about the detail, that's when it starts getting a little bit more challenging. And has Her Majesty seen it, the finished thing? No, she hasn't. She hasn't seen it yet. I believe she will see it at the naming ceremony on the 11th of October. And you'll be there for that too? I'll be there for that too. Well, the picture's great. Congratulations as Thank well. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, this is Peter Shanks, President and Managing Director of Cunard Line. That picture's lovely, isn't it? It's truly wonderful. I mean, we commissioned this portrait um, some two years ago and we were a little bit nervous about how would it turn out. It's truly gorgeous. It's just a lovely painting of Her Majesty. The Queen herself was present at the uh, launch of the original Queen Elizabeth in 1937 as a 12-year-old and she was godmother of the QE2 and now again to have her with us on the 11th of October is very exciting for Queen Elizabeth. But I suppose the icing on the cake was to have the enduring portrait. There are very few brands in the world, never mind in travel, who have such a wonderful relationship with royalty. And, and, and I think it's wonderful. And uh, think of all the thousands of people over many, many years who will come on board Queen Elizabeth and be able to be right there with a portrait of the Queen. That doesn't happen very often. And it's a big moment for young Isabel as well. Oh, she's lovely. You know, she painted that in her mum's attic. She was so excited that she didn't want it to be in her studio in case anyone saw her. So she picked a room at her mum's attic in her house in Putney and every time she finished painting she'd lock the door and she created it in her mum's attic. What a great story. It's amazing, isn't it? But of course the big story is to come. Here she is, the Queen Elizabeth. Uh, launches in October. The Queen will be, be doing the honours. And uh, back to a three-ship fleet. Yeah, three ships and, remarkably, the youngest fleet in the world. And actually, talking with travel agents, the story actually is about, with three ships, how many more destinations we can now go to. And, of course, many people come to Cunard Line for our history and our heritage, but now you hear me saying they come to Cunard for a bloody good holiday. And you look at our accommodation, our entertainment, our cuisine, no one else comes close. And so I'm hoping that many more travel agents will now be working with Cunard Line, not just for those people who want to go on a famous experience, but just those people who want a bloody good holiday. And this is why Cunard insists that you don't do cruises, you do voyages. Uh, we do voyages. We're very proper, but we do damn fine voyages. Uh, but it does set ourselves apart. We are more formal. You know, on a typical voyage for a week, there'll be two or three formal nights. But we also do elegant casual. And we also have all the latest modern cuisine and entertainment. So it's, it's interesting. A lot of people are moving away from formality. 
but many people still love to dress up, love to look smart, and it works for us. Now, Cunard have always had the, the grills, the Queen's Grill and the Princess Grill, but things have now changed for the Britannia class as well, haven't they? Yeah, so really to explain it very easily, we have right at the top of the ship the best the best experience is the Queen's Grill, which are large suites linked to a wonderful dining room. Then we have the Princess Grill, lovely suites linked to their own Princess dining room. And then the majority of the guests are in the Britannia restaurant. But moving with the times, more people like to have alternative opportunities. And rather than having a set dining time at, say, 6 or 8.30, they want to eat whenever they want. And so we've created a new restaurant called the Britannia Club. It means people can eat whenever they want in that restaurant with their own table. We think that will be very popular. Now, although she's the same basic design as the Queen Victoria, she's different in both the decor and the, and the style, isn't she? She has her own distinct personality. In terms of the actual structure of the ship, she's in fact a sister ship. She has the Extra Britannia Club restaurant. Up on top, we've got a really good fun Cunard sports deck with uh, garden bowls, with paddle tennis and with croquet. And, and done, in, done in a 20s, 30s style, that'll be really good fun. And with a sliding roof? No, it's got a lovely canopy roof. So we haven't got one of those big cumbersome sliding roofs. We've got a lovely canopy structure. Oh, right. So the breeze can come through, particularly when it's warm. It should be, it should be lovely up there. It's going to be a big day in Southampton in, uh, in October. You looking forward to it? It certainly is. It's another very proud day for Cunard Line with Her Majesty the Queen. And then, of course, we'll have around 1,600 guests come down to experience it, many of our travel agent partners. And then also um, in Southampton that weekend, we're inviting many of our travel agent partners to come down and see the ship. And in fact, straight after the naming ceremony, she goes to work, doesn't she, so the, ne the next day? She does. She's off on the 12th of October on her first voyage. Turns out that's Columbus Day. So there we are, another historic link for Cunard Line. Yeah, she goes straight to work on the 12th. Looking forward to it. Peter, thank you very much indeed. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Steve. Cheers.